What's up guys, welcome back to our Minecraft townhouse let's build. So last week, um, you remember I started this amazing Georgian townhouse and this week we're going to be doing the rest of the walls and the roof. So I hope you all enjoyed it, just going to show you a little few things I did in between episodes, so I added a drain pipe in there, um, so it won't be able to connect into the ground because there'll be a, a wall there, and I sort of finished this porch off a little bit. Um, so to try and take an idea of what I did there, just upside down quartz stairs and some uh, stone stone slabs. Uh, also I added the rest of the sort of foliage on the side but it disappeared because I messed up the world at it. Also just showing you a little um, drain pipe we did there, so interesting sort of T Y shape you can do. Um, just going to change it up a little make it look more interesting. But yeah, so I hope you're enjoying this let's build it's quite a good one uh, quite an easy one to you know get you started on if you haven't been building very much or need to get back into practice so um yeah uh, next week um we will be having the final episode for this which should be the interiors and then also that week i want to bring out the let's build a road tutorial so it's gonna be a little bit diff a uh, little bit hard this tutorial uh sort of like uh definitely going through the processes of what i actually do when i build my roads so i hope you're looking forward to that Okay, so just putting in the floor here. So this area at the back is like a sort of workshop slash storage area. So it's going to be a couple of um, blocks down from the actual floor level, which I've signified there by putting a few stairs up. So we can have like cabinets or something there. And this is the way people walk in from the car park. So just removing some of the um, uh, construction wall and adding uh, quartz around. And a bit of stone in there, just to finish that doorway up. So I'm going to stick a doorway in there. Now I've gone for a dark oak door. In this texture pack, it's not textured, but in my new one, which I use after this, it is textured. So you know, a little bit un understanding if it doesn't look right. Okay, putting a little window in the back here, uh, just lets a little bit of light into this storage area. So yeah, this episode is mainly going to focus on us doing this back wall and just the side wall and then the roof uh, later on in the episode in about five minutes or so. Yeah, so I've just spoken about what we've got planned. I've also got um, a house tutorial planned and um, maybe another Let's Tour because I actually have got some big news. We've managed to add all of our worlds back to our server. So um, that means we've got Whiteberg City again. We've got Saints, um, which I know Bob's happy about because he's obviously the admin of Saints. We've got Del Air, which um, F F uh, Mayor Five's happy about because obviously he loves his modern stuff and he is the admin of that place as well so you know everyone's happy because they've all got their places back and I'm happy because we've got Whiteburg City back and we've really nice um, we've spruced up the spawn we've made it quite nice and Christmassy I um, put a surprise on top of the actual city hall itself so be sure to come on and check that out but yeah so I'm really happy um, started doing a lot of train train tracks on there so if you guys actually want to find out how I do my train tracks in Minecraft just uh, say so and we can always do a video in it. I've got train stuff to build in Limington here. So um, yeah, I can always crack on and do a video for you guys. Big news there, yeah. So I can do another world tour if we want soon. Just showing what's sort of going on. Okay, so you get an idea of what's going on around the back there. Just adding some walls and a few windows. I've now come in and added sort of the shape of the upstairs. Uh, that means it's going to be a roof here, so we're going to have a sort of pitched roof, uh, but it's only going to be pitched one side, so it's just slanting up against the wall. Yeah, like that. So it comes right up against the um, the wall. Also, I have tried to change up a little bit the soundtrack in this one. I know I use the same songs every time, but I have mixed up the order of them this time. So, I hope you enjoy that as well. Yeah. It can get a little bit tedious, I guess. Just filling in the rest of these sort of holes in the wall. Also, you can see on the inside, I have actually planned out everything I want to build for the interior. So, it makes the next episode quite nice and simple. Straightforward, really. Um, yeah, I hope you guys don't think it's too simple, this build. Um, it is, you know, there's a lot of detail in here. Georgian houses aren't overly detailed, but, you know, the way it is, the way it's built, the bricks used, all of that, um, just to help add to that whole theme I was trying to go for. Filling in the floor level now. So what's happening is we're putting the floor at the sort of quartz block of the window from the outside. 
So you're sort of actually walking up against glass, which is, can be a bit interesting. But in Minecraft, obviously, it, it has to be like that because uh, you've got one meter thick uh, floors and ceilings. So it's like, oh, I need to sort of figure out how I'm going to put my floors in. So just using world edit there to fill in that floor. Uh, I've set five colon five, which is dark oak. So we're using dark oak for our floor, but you can use whatever you like for your floors. Just in case, uh, I like to use dark oak because it feels nice and sort of um, Victorian, nice traditional. Uh, if you guys want to sort of spruce up the inside, make it feel a bit more modern, then uh, feel free to use something a bit lighter. Carrying on this uh, cobbling effect around the top. So this ledge with uh, brick stairs and brick slabs. And now we're getting onto the roof. So this roof's um, this roof's quite cool. It's like a double sort of double pitch with a back section, and it looks it looks nice. It's um yeah definitely Georgian style. We got another roof like it later on in the series. I've already built. Um, yeah. So uh, I hope you guys sort of get understanding of what I'm trying to do. So yeah, at the moment I just sort of come along and think about making it all into one roof, but then I think the pitch would be too high, so I go, oh, okay, let's try and make it two roofs. Because we don't want it too high, because if it's too high, it's, you know, it's overbearing and takes uh, effect away from the church, which we don't really want, because the church is like our centre point. And we want that to be, um, you know, big on its own. So coming around, fixing up where I've messed up. few stone slabs there and finishing off by carrying around the rest of the oak dark oak stairs so you can see I'm starting to form out the plan in my head about what I want to do I think I gave a little nod there it's like oh yeah I know what I want to do so yeah we've also got um, I want to do some sort of Star Wars stuff for you know the up and coming film and on our server we actually have got a custom made world for Hoth I made this months ago like back in uh, ja uh, January February time when I was like oh yeah Battlefront's coming out this year and the film oh god I better do something so I made this map a long time ago and I will be able to start doing some Star Wars stuff on it I did build half an 8080 but I never finished it and I did that on a time lapse so I'll try and find the footage for that but we will see what I get done on that over the next couple of weeks. Okay, you can see what I'm doing here with the roof. Um, split it into two, so equal parts, uh, which is, isn't at the moment. It just needs to move over one. And then I'm putting um, stone brick stairs up the side to act as sort of like um, lead. We had like lead lining on roofs, so kind of like that. So there we go. We're getting the roof there. So it's, it's four across the top and six across the bottom on both sides so just continue that down all the way so this adds to your repertoire of roofs you can use um, I went for maybe thinking about putting that slab on top but I don't think I did in the end so I'm just going to stack it down obviously you can build it all by hand there is nothing that needs world edits here it's just I like to use it just to um, ease up the process of you watching same again that side so we're stacking it down 18 and that brings us in line with the smaller roof at the back now again, like I said, this actually is a real life building in the real life town of Leamington. Um, so if you have access to Google Maps and Street View, feel free to have a look and you can actually see what this real life building looks like. Um, I believe the 2015 edition of Street View doesn't have it with the vines on the front, which is a bit sad because it looks so much better with the vines on the front because there's three buildings here and the vines stretch across all three of them. So it's like, oh yeah, that looks really nice. But um, in 2015, in this year, uh, they actually cut them down uh, it looks a bit bare, but I mean it still looks nice, it still looks nice in Georgian, it just looks a bit bare. There we have it, so that's pretty much the how steep our roof will be. It's quite a shallow roof, which is nice, and we can have a flat bit of roof on top of that. Um, maybe lead line, I can't remember what I did, I think I might just put uh, bricks up there. Uh, not bricks, uh, bits of wood. So I'm figuring out what to do with this little one, so putting that corner brick in there. 
and same again in that corner there. Bring it all down and another corner in there. So yeah, the interior next week is uh, interesting. Um, you'll obviously see what's going on. Uh, it's one of my first interiors I've done in a long, long while. I did it before the church actually, so you know you might be able to see some similarities. Just coming around and finishing this off now. Yep, just figured out that was the wrong size. So there we go, bring that round. Uh, we've now got this sort of double fronted church, oh, not church, roof. And I like it, I think it looks really nice. Nice big windows in the front, like a proper Georgian house. So just copy and pasting that over, just to ease up things. Although I don't think it does, because I think I mess up. So again, there's another mess up for me, because I am Mr. Mess Up. Yep, look at that. I'm like, oh, what happened there? So I do hope to be doing a lot more in this town, but I may actually start doing a few world uh, let's build from Whiteburg City itself again because I've got a loads of ideas for that. Like I said, I've been building loads of train tracks. I've got a brand new train station as well this week. Um, so do come on and check that out. Server IP is exactly the same. Just do uh, slash warp WBC. Uh, nice and easy. Take it to the spawn. Or um, our new train station is actually at warp slash Bank Street. So it's Bank Street Station. And this station, uh, it's like a bridge station. So it bridges across a road. And it's all nice and elevated. Really nicely designed. Um, I'm quite. I'm really quite proud of it, just to say. So I, I will definitely get a tour done on that in the future. Finishing this roof off now, we're getting to sort of the end of the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed, it's been a good, had a good build, got a lot done today actually. Yep, I try and figure out what's going on there but it's fine, nothing to fear. Yeah, it's looking good. So like I said, the um, vines on the side actually started disappearing because I touched the tree behind, which is really annoying. So um, I, actually, I have fixed that now, so when you do come on and see this building, it's perfectly fine. Finishing up there. So like I, I'd like to remind you actually, I filmed this a long time ago now, a good, I want to say a good month or so ago. So. Um, I've definitely got back into building in Minecraft, so my speeds have all improved. So the next couple of videos you see from me are a lot a lot faster, a lot faster pace. So capping the ends off again with some stone brick stabs, uh, like I did at the front here, and fe uh, finishing off the roof. So that's exactly what you want to go for. Nice flat roof. You can change it up to whatever you want, different colour bricks, different colour wood, you know, use whatever you want. See our church is sort of looking over there. Um, and some of the little buildings looking around. So like I said, there are two other buildings in this sort of vicinity and I built one of them. So you'll have to excuse me about not filming that one. But yeah, so guys, thank you for watching again. It's been a good video, we got a lot done on the roof and I will see you next time with our interior video. I uh, just want to leave you a little clip at the end here of a bit of Star Wars Battlefront. We've been playing a lot of that lately, so I hope you enjoy that. And thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week. Bye! Thing from the battlefield. Hello. Oh, hello there. Uh, hello there. It's a nice blue gun. Oh, uh, uh, oh.